Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ISU What to Watch series. I'm your host, Ted Barton, and I'm so pleased to have with me today Jun Hwan Cha of the Republic of Korea. Thank you very much, Jun Hwan, for joining me here today. Uh, now, first, I want to ask you, uh, you know, what has happened during the COVID time? Uh, how, uh, uh, what did you do in the first four months? Are you back on the ice now? How much are you skating? Um, I'm, I'm just keep skating now. And since when I came back to Korea in April, yeah, I will keep skating till now. Yeah. Um, not very much, but with like wearing masks. And, but everything is fine, just training in Korea. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you a little bit um, uh, about how you got involved in skating. Do you remember how you got to the rink? Your parents, I guess, just took you to the rink to learn to skate. When did you fall in love with the sport? Um, actually, when I was young, I was doing actor. So I learned a lot of things like swimming and ballet, piano, violin, like and I just think if I learn skating, that will be helpful for my acting. So that's the start. And I, I just fell in love when I'm skating because I really like the winds coming into me. Like when I get to speed, the winds, I love that. And I really feel free when I'm skating. So that's why. I start skating. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit, when did you learn about Brian Orser and decide to move to Canada? How did that all happen? Um, I, I, when I'm skating, I already know about like Brian Orser and I, I had a chance to train in Canada with Brian and then I, I just moved there <laughs> to start training in Canada. And I really, I really liked that was i think it was 2014 and i really liked skating with brian and tracy and just land so that's why i moved to canada well there, there are two such uh fine uh distinguished and quality people they really are just as people let alone coaching what is it you like most about how they approach you as a student um I, I really love the how I'm training now with Brian and Tracy. In in cricket club, they're giving me a good energy, and then with my training mates, we're giving a good energy and go back and forth. And that really makes me train harder. I I love the training now, now the way. Well, I have to tell you, the rink that you train in is so old. I trained there. <laughs> that, that's oh, how, I did. Really? Yeah, I did. I, I I trained there with a coach by the name of Ellen Burka, who was the coach of Toller Cranston a long time ago. And so wow. uh, I trained. And I always loved the smell of that building. I love skating there. Uh, it's uh, it's 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 kind of religious skating in that environment for sure. So yeah, no, I know it well. It's pretty special for sure. No, you it's, had some, It's really special. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great place. Now, you had some great success on the Junior Grand Prix. Uh, how did your participation on the Junior Grand Prix help develop you into such a good senior skater? Um, at the Junior Grand Prix, actually, the Junior Grand Prix season was my first Junior Grand Prix season, then the last Junior Grand Prix season. But, like... Going through the Junior Grand Prix and the, the final, I think the, that experience really helped me to improving and make make me skating better. I think, um, especially the JGP, the Yokohama was very special experience for me. It was my first JGP, but I I think I really. Uh, doing well at there, so I'm, I'm really happy that I have those memories. Now, how would you describe the difference between a junior Grand Prix and a senior Grand Prix? Um, actually, for me, it's like almost the same, but a little different because even junior or senior, I always just train hard and then just go there and then I, I always try to like feel the ice 
and look around the, the arena and feel it. So, like, when I skate in the Senior Grand Prix, there's more audience, so I, I get more energies from them, and, like, I feel so happy when I'm competing. Yeah. It's probably a little bit more relaxed on the Junior Grand Prix, a little bit more stressful in yeah. the Senior. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A little bit. <laughs> uh, and actually, before, I wanted to ask you, what was one of your, your junior programs, uh, your favorite programs that you skated in juniors? Um, I think it's a curse line cause, yeah. <laughs> because it's a new style for me and it was challenged. But I like during the, the Junior Grand Prix, I feel like I am keep improving the program because at the first Junior Grand Prix, my face was very like, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but like going to Dresden and the final and the world championship, I, I think I really improved a lot doing, during that program and I, I really love that program. Well, that's for sure. When I saw this, uh, uh, I saw your presentation just come out like I hadn't seen you skate before, and it was so beautiful. Uh, look, we're going to take a look at your 2017 Junior World Short Program, a chorus line. I love this program. I've watched this uh, several times as we were preparing for this, but uh, so let's take a look at a chorus line. And please talk us through what you were feeling and anything that you would like to mention uh, about the performance of what you loved uh, while you're watching. We'll see you up on the top of the screen. Let's uh, roll that right now. Here it is. Oh, look at that smile and that energy. <laughs> yeah. So this was the big element here. I'm watching Cisco Peter Pat. Said I can do that. Uh, you see, it looks like you're having so much fun. I can do that. Yeah, actually, the Junior World Short Program, the first line is that I really enjoy the competition, I think. Yeah, this is a, you know, a different level of performance. I've watched you on the Junior Grand Prix, but when I saw this, I said, oh my gosh, he completely understands performance now. He loves this performance. Actually, having done all the difficult elements, you're really able to perform now in this step sequence. Yeah. <laughs> Little shoulder hit there. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> what a great performance. That had to be a lot of fun to skate. I think the, the big thing is on that short program, I think that's the first time that I really enjoyed the competition and like feel the ice and then listen to the music. 
yeah, it's, I think it's the first time that I did that. So it's the, it was the great experience for me. Yeah, that's a great breakthrough, and I'm sure that helped you mature into a senior skater as well. And and every piece of music that you're picking now, you probably have a deeper understanding and deeper performance level. So, um, what? By the way, what are you skating to this year? <laughs> oh, was I allowed to ask that? <laughs> uh, um, I think. Well, actually, I really love to doing new programs like every seasons because. Um, like when I'm doing, when I'm like choreographing with like David or Shelly Born, it's really fun time to me. And it's one of my favorite thing in figure skating. So, but on, um, in this season, I, I can't go to the, like other countries now. I'm, I'm stuck in Korea. So for, I think for the long, I'm, I'm just going to keep using the last season it's the fire within and for the short program i work with david on the online zoom so that will be great too <laughs> oh that's great that's fantastic yeah well we're looking forward to seeing your programs hopefully the season comes back and in one way or another uh, you're so much fun to watch so much improvement I, one of the things i love most about covering the junior grand prix is i get to watch these young skaters grow and mature into wonderful senior skaters and uh um it's a great joy in my life for sure well you you came on the junior grand prix circuit with great skill and determination and we'll watch with interest as your senior career unfolds uh, you're a wonderful skater and a gentleman and you're such a talented uh, person and I, I was great to know that you were an actor a child actor a singer ballet dancer You've got a great future, and we're, we're, I'm so excited to, to continue to watch you in the seniors, that's for sure. So you're a wonderful skater and a gentleman. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Uh, just a reminder to everyone to continue to follow the ISU what to Watch series where we cover the top performances from 2017, 2018, 2019, the World Junior Figure Skating Championships. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I'm Ted Barton. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone.